Welcome to the Food Design. In this lesson, we will learn about polygon primitives. There are multiple types of polygon primitives. Started uh, from sphere, cube, cylinder, cone, torus, plan, disk, platonic solid, pyramid, prism, pi, helix, gear, and so forth. And also the super helix, spherical, uh, harmonic, and ultra shape. So I will cover every and each parameter in this lecture of the polygon primitives. So how to start the polygon primitives? So you have to create a and then click on it and then the second option is my polygon primitive in the previous lecture i will cover the nerve primitive if you want to check the nerve primitive and how you assert different values you can check my previous previous lecture so in this lecture we will focusing on the polygon primitive first click on the sphere primitive okay so this is my sphere primitive after clicking on the sp sphere primitive so you can click on the polysphere one. So there are the four options. First option is my radius, then the subdivision axis, then the subdivision height, and then the create UVs. Okay. So let's start with the radius. If I increase or decrease the value, let us say I am increasing the value to two, so my sphere uh, radius increases. That means the dia will be four in this case. Okay. So say I am decreasing this value to point five, so it will be zero point five radius, and the dia will be one. Okay. Meanwhile, so I will uh, set the radius to five. Okay. Then the subdivision angle axis. So the subdivision axis is these these green lines. These are known as the subdivision axis. So if I can change this to 20 from 20 to 30. You can change that these axes. These axes are changes. Then the subdivision height is this one, this circular uh, line. So if I change it to 40, so you can see that this green lines are now 40. Okay, so each axis or each curve or each path is my uh, simpler node. Okay, so this is my all about my spherical body in which I change four different things. First will be my radius, then the subdivision axis, subdivision height, and create UV. Okay, so this is the first one. So I have to erase it going towards the next one. So again, you have to click on the create, go to the next one, which is my cube primitive. Okay, so going to the cube primitive, you have to first click on the cube primitive. And you can you can set the width, height, depth, subdivision width, subdivision height, and subdivision depth. Let's start with the width. Let us say the width is five, length is assuming six, and the depth is four. Okay. Then the subdivision width. So subdivision width, I have to divide my subdivision into four or five. Then subdivision height to six, and subdivision depth to seven. Okay. So you can say that these green lines will subdivide my width, height, and depth to a smaller shape. This small, each smaller shape is my node for my specific cell. Okay. So this is all about my uh, this property. Now moving towards the next property, which is my cylindrical property. So for the cylindrical property, my, again I, I I will check this poly poly. Uh, Cylinders, poly cylinder. So after clicking the poly cylinder, there are the certain properties started from radius, height, subdivision axis, subdivision height, subdivision caps. Okay, so subdivision radius, I I will change the subdivision radius to four. This is my subdivision. Now the height I select as the ten. Let us see. So my height is ten. Subdivision axis. In this case, it is these green lines are twenty. So if I want to increase or decrease, let us say. I want to decrease to eight, so this is my subdivision eight. So you can you say that my you see that my uh, my diagram or my shape changes with changing the subdivision axis. Let us say I change uh, or increase it to twenty five. So this is the twenty five, uh, which is exactly my cylinder. If I decrease to four, let us say four. So this is my four, which turns into a into into a rectangular shape. So if I increase to five, so this is my center then hexagon and so on. Okay. Then subdivision height. So this is sub. This is this is. You can say that this is on. There is only one height. There is no subdivision the height. If I increase to five, so 
this will be the section 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so in this way you can change different uh, properties of my cylinder uh, with respect to radius, height, subterranean axis, subterranean height, and subterranean caps. Okay, now subterranean caps. If I increase it to 2, so you can say that see that this this shape, the upper shape, will be 2. If I increase it to 5, so you can say that that this will be increased to 5. Okay, so this is known as subterranean cap. Hope you hope you understand. So now again. I will delete this again. Go to create, click on this, and click on the cone. Okay, again for the cone, you have to click on this. So, I have to change the radius for the radius. It is I select the 5 radius, height I selected is 15. Okay, subterranean axis is 20. Um, I have to, I will decrease it to 10. Then subterranean height is 5, so this will be 5, and the cap. So, the cap will 6. Uh, for example, so this will be this subterranean. If I I will rotate it. Let me rotate. Yes, yeah, so you can see that this shape uh, will be will be six to so one, two, three, four, five, and so. Okay. Now moving towards the next one, which is my uh, torus. The torus. Uh, again, for torus, we can in increase or decrease the radius. For example, I increase the radius to 2. Section radius, for example, 1. So, my section radius, if I decrease the, so this will be the, uh, will be the section radius, which is 0 0.1. And if I increase it, let us say I increase it to 2, or I increase it to 0 0.9, let us say. So, this radius is the inner radius, okay? The section radius is the inner radius of my torus. Now, the twist, if I added that twist, so you can see that the twisting parameter added here. Then the subterranean, if it is 20, so I can change it to 50. So this uh, and subtly in height if I change to 10, this is my new shape. Okay, again you can you can check it uh, by rotating the body. It's my new shape. So this is my torus. You can you can create multiple shapes with changing the radius, with changing the uh, torus height, with changing the torus subtly and excess section radius and torus. Okay. Moving towards the next one. Next one is my plan. So I have to create this. After creating plan, you have to click this, and these are the options width, height, subdivision width, subdivision height. You can change the width, change the height, change the subdivisions, and change the subdivision height, and change the subdivision height and width respectively. Okay. Okay. Now moving towards the next one, you have to click the create, then go to the uh, disk. So this is my disk. Okay, so there are four different properties. First is the subdomain, the subdomain is circle. The subdomain is circle. Then the side. So you can, what, what is the side? This is the first side, the arrow of this one. Okay, the arrow, this is the second side, these are the arrows, and third side is this one. If you want to decrease it to one, okay, or decrease, increase to four. Okay, so the minimum size you can select is a three. You cannot decrease uh, from three. That is, you can't select one or two in the size. Okay, for the disk, the minimum size will be three. You can increase it. For example, I increase to five. I increase to uh, ten. Okay, so you can increase the size. The minimum size value is three. Now the subdivision. For example, if it is three. You can change to five. You can change to one. You can change to two. Okay. Now the radius, so radius is the disk radius, you can change the radius. Now, again, this this section, this is the closed green section is my cell. In, in the complex body, you can change the dimension of each cell, okay? You can change the dimension of each cell by just clicking the cell and then change its shape accordingly, according to your need, okay? So this is the disk primitive, so I have to delete it and then move towards the next one. So again, go to the create and then polygon primitives, then uh, platonic solid. Okay, so this is my platonic solid, which is just like uh, my pyramid or just like my diamond shape. Okay, so you have to create on the uh, poly platonic, uh, platonic one. After creating this, there's a section that primitives, primitives, then subdivision mode. Subdivision is the chord mode, and then subdivision. If I add the subdivision to you, okay, so each particle is divided into three. 
so the one is the default and or two is the sub so if you need the complex you can change it to 10 or you can change to 5 and, and so on okay so this is how you can you can create the uh, sub primitive values from from 0 or from uh, 10 degrees from 1 degree from 2 3 4 till maximum value <laughs>